Uh, my name is Matt Kuman. I am excited to be with you guys today in your homes talking about um, some things from this past message. I hope you guys, before we get rolling, do that icebreaker. I was looking through that and saw, was thinking about where I fit in on the adopters. Like, where do I fit in? Um, and my wife would tell you I'm definitely one of those early adopters. When something exciting comes along and someone starts talking about something, I am in it. I'm like, yep, done. I don't care how risky it is. I will follow you to the end. And in two weeks, I get distracted and I'm on to something new. So in our, in our early parts of our relationship, Jalen would often freak out about all the things I'm going to be starting and doing. And she realized quite quickly that in two weeks, he'll forget about it. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. But I'd love for your group to talk about where you guys fall on those, on those adopters and where your role is with that. But after you're done with that, we are going to jump right into uh, the discussion question. So this first one, uh, this first dis- discussion question, what do you think the psalmist means when he calls God a refuge? What do you think he means? Question number two, the psalmist declares that they will not fear even if the worst thing happens. What is your worst fear? And number three, what is the comfort in realizing that he, God, he is in control? Question number four, and try to make this one personal for you. How can you look for God when you hear of distress, upheaval, or chaos? Think about the world around us. What personally can you do in those situations? The next question, the psalmist declared, be still and know that I am God. What do those words look like in your life? When you consider that in the end, everyone will realize who Jesus is, that every knee will bow, that every tongue will confess, how does that change your urgency to share Jesus with others now? Why do you think the disciples, the followers of Jesus Christ, were early adopters of the faith when others were not? Hey groups, that's all we have for the questions in the normal discussion, but if you guys have time, I would really encourage you to look at the Digging Deeper question. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, storms this week, and one question we didn't really look into more is the idea of why is there suffering? Like, why does that even need to happen? And there's some really good material we'd love for you to look through if you guys have time. Um, I know that's a question that I've wrestled a ton with too, and maybe you're asking some of those same things. So take a look at that Digging Deeper section. Um, But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you all soon.